I feel like a lot of people are on. Oh, whoa! Did he bite him? <gasps> I thought I was going to have the wherewithal to not marathon this tonight, but clearly you see me in the same hoodie. So that means that I'm about to get through this show. I'm about to bang these out, which I will be doing a reaction for every single episode and talking about it afterwards. So I probably won't be able to finish it tonight, but yeah, um, this is, this is, this is, this is it. Playlist right now. Let's go. If you have not already, please make sure that you like and subscribe before starting the video and comment after we are done or comment during it and then comment again at the end. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let's get started. Is there is that blood? Okay, no, this is like some other kind of thing. Oh, it's a dog. What happened the night before? He's having yeah, his instincts are going crazy. That was a really, really good opening. Um, especially music wise. Of course I'm not gonna put it in the video because DMCA gonna catch that real quick. I feel like this is kind of sexual. Ooh, what is that touching? Wow. I think this is, okay, I'm, I'm gonna save that for later. This is so cool. Oh no, close it, close it, close it. Don't do it. Oh yeah. <gasps> No Oh, this is a shit show. Homeboy didn't see it, but he clawed her. Oh no. Uh oh. Someone's gonna notice the blood. Him. I feel like a lot of people are on. Oh, whoa! Did he bite him? <gasps> Why does this keep acting? Oh, is that some kind of like alpha carnivore shit? Whoa, he's trying to make himself lose on purpose? What the fuck is that? Beat his ass! I feel like the only reason why he's even this corny or cocky... I'm gonna go with corny, though. Cocky is because he has those horns, so he can probably, like, fight back against people. That guy, yeah, yeah, you're trying to be a B-star, yeah. Uh-oh, so he already knows what he, ooh, fix it, come on. Maybe if he actually, like, acted like he wanted to, huh? I feel like if he just acted how he wanted to and just acted on his actual feelings, he probably wouldn't have the, that problem of, like, suppressing that shit. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, wow. Oh, they had me thinking that was the actual, like, setup. That looked good. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. You done already got accustomed to that shit. Ooh, that is fucked up. This is not going to end well for him. I hope he doesn't have to lose his leg. If that starts to bleed, I feel like the carnivores are going to act the fuck up. Oh, he's going to run into homegirl. Because she was the one outside gardening. Or not that she was. She, she was outside gardening. At least he's being considered. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, is he gonna see her arm? Yep, her arm is bandaged. I can already see it. She doesn't know that it's him, does she? Oh! <laughs> he don't want to answer. 
<laughs> oh, this is so weird. I mean, I don't. Does it have to do something with the moon or nighttime where he goes crazy? Well, he don't know who you are. As far as that, okay, yeah. But like, as far as her like on campus persona, he don't know nothing about her. Clearly. Oh. I mean, the garden looks really good for her to be doing it by herself. It might be like her solace outside of being bullied by everyone for being so pretty. Was she in shock and she like lost her memory from that moment? Or maybe she's losing her shit right now and just waiting for him to leave. Oh no, she thinks that he wants... Oh no! Wait, girl! Oh, no. So she is okay. I mean, listen. That's it? So, uh, um, uh, the ending of that? Um, I'm all for, you know, owning your sex life. And that's clearly what she does. But then, you know, I feel like it's probably going along with, you know, the rabbits fucking like rabbits. Like, you know, rabbits like the fuck. So she and she told him, she was like, you can be as rough as you want. I'm going to enjoy this shit. So it's like, yes, girl. Like, you know, get 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 your life. Like, accept it. You know what you want. But at the same time, I'm kind of just like, this also might be part of the problem with you and everybody else is that you, should, you shouldn't just be accepting everybody. Like, you know, you can find somebody that you like or... You know what? It's not even accepting everybody. Accept people that you know are single. And that's okay. And then, you know, go about your business. And then, you know, if you find out that they're not single later on, that's not your problem. That's not your problem. They didn't tell you that. That was not information that you were privy to. So that's whatever. But this one, it just kind of seems like she's just like, I mean, yo, you want to fuck? I'm down. Like, let's go. Boom, boom, bam, bam. This is my first time with a carnivore. Whoa. Now, I definitely... When going into this, I was like, oh, you know, whatever, blah, 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 furry porn, ha, ha, jokes, furry porn, yeah, 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 yeah. But now, I'm like, okay, here we go. I definitely felt a bit of, like, sexual tension, especially between that first, like, the hug thing and the breathing and just, like, general atmosphere. I was just like, oh, this is kind of sexual. What's going on? But, you know, I think maybe the show is going to revolve around just, like, instincts, or that's going to be like a big theme going through it where it's just like, you know, we're talking about instincts, you know, like animal instincts and it just like fucking sex. Like that's part of your instincts, like, you know, procreating. But then also this really isn't going to be procreating. This is just like sex for pleasure. I didn't think I would be talking about sex so much with a show about this. I don't even know what the show is about, to be honest, though, but we're going to see. We've gotten an introduction to Be Star, so we kind of know what that is but it is be stars so are we going to be focusing on multiple different people who have the ability to become a b star and then homeboy rich kid like mr king of the campus is gonna try to like stifle everybody else i don't know i do really like the relationship though or i like the effort on Lagoshi's part to not even change but at least he's like exploring his feelings and he's acknowledging that they're there it's just that, you know, he hasn't really acted on it yet. And then Homeboy already has, like, seen through him and knows, like, what the hell is going on. And that's okay, too. I see him more so as an antagonist as opposed to, like, a main or supporting character that is there for Lagoshi's benefit. He might benefit Lagoshi in some form or fashion in the future, but I see him, like, as an endgame antagonist, like, all around. I think he, I still think he's going to manipulate him. I still think he's going to manipulate him, hands down. So... Earlier on in the episode, though, I definitely want to talk about, and I think it was, like, the incarnation of the instincts and, like, that little form they gave it. But when he was, like, really close to him and the eyes, like, I really like how they're doing the animation and slash CG with, like, where the eyes, where the lines, it was, like, multiple lines and it was going back and forth like this. It kind of just, like, gives me, like, um a wild, just, like, you know, um, uncontrollable sense of just you know atmosphere or something like that like it just it it 
gave me exactly what I think they were trying to put across, which was like, this is something that is uncontrollable and wild and he does not know how to deal with it. That's what I got from it. And I think that was portrayed perfectly through everything. Like, I definitely have to say that the music in this show is pretty fucking good. <laughs> From all of the uses to the instruments, like especially with like the saxophone, with Homeboy, I still don't know all their names yet, so I'm Homeboy, Homegirl, but you know I'm Herbivore, you know, Herbivore Asshole. Let's 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 give him that name, Herbivore Asshole, Herbivore Asshole. Like you know with the saxophone, all kinds of that. I was just like, oh, look at this. Like this isn't just about this story. Like they're doing what I love for animes, which is they're bringing the top three: the plot, the look, and the music. We're getting the story, we're getting the looks, and we're getting the music. And they're all really good. And this is, once again, only the second episode, and I'm really fucking enjoying it. So, gonna continue this one. If you have not already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this episode, and let me know what you think of the series in general, without spoilers, please, of course. And I kind of think that we need to do an episode on this for Anime Savants, maybe even before the second season comes out. Who knows? But if you don't know what Anime Savants is, my anime podcast every Tuesday at 10 a.m. There will be more info on that below in the caption. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And it, I'm probably going to finish this whole thing in one go. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you.